Okay, good day everyone. Welcome again to our YouTube channel, The 641 Squad. So, today we are going to discuss about the difference between ballistics and firearm firearms identification. So, let's begin our discussion on defining what is ballistics. So, ballistics, as defined, it is the science of the motion of the projectile and the condition that affect its motion. It is a science in itself for it is an orderly arranged knowledge, which is a product of series of experimentation, observation, and testing. So, it is not actually an exact science, but rather it is an applied physics and as such it is subject to changes and improvement depending upon the demand of the modern civilization so ballistics as well is initially the study of ballistics was not designed for firearms identification rather it is uh, earlier studied mainly for firearm manufacturer and ballistics is up to describe as a, again an applied physics because it most of the time studies about the various motions the uh, various mechanisms that is happening on the firearm as well as uh, things that affects the bullet or the projectile while it is inside the firearm upon leaving the gun muzzle as well as upon reaching the target so lahat ng mga nangyari don sa bala no? things that affects the bullet as well as things that is used to propel the bullet that is ballistics including the the internal external the immediate and the terminal ballistics so ang alam natin meron tayong uh, tatlong uri ng ballistics no three uh, ballistics which is the internal ballistics external ballistics and terminal ballistics but there is what we called immediate ballistics but literally we only have three so all of those things all of the mechanism that happens inside the firearm concerning the flight of the bullet how it was propelled including the motion of the projectile inside the gun barrel that puts uh, the landmarks and the groove marks which also responsible for the twisting motion of the bullet and air resistance the trajectory the the range and resistance to air of the bullet so all of those things uh, are considered as the mechanism of ballistics or it encompasses the ballistics but ballistics is good use for investigation because most especially for trajectory because if you approximate the trajectory, you can also approximate the distance or ap the approximate uh, position of the shooter. So, ballistics in general talks about anything or everything that affects on the motion of the bullet as well as the uh, engraving of all those marks on the bullet, okay? uh, including the shells as well. On the other hand, firearms identification uh, let's talk about that so according to scott doyle firearms identification refers to the examination of fired bullets cartridge cases or other ammunition components to the identify or, or to identify the gun where they came from Literally, that's the that would answer uh, the seven problems in ballistics. Okay, so when we say 
firearms identification. It also talks, uh, or it, it's also otherwise known as the tool mark identification. Why? Because after the firearm has been fired and the bullet has been profiled, not only the bullet, no, because there is also a shell. After the bullet has been propelled on the firearm, the shell has been ejected on the firearm, there would be a lot of marks that will be imprinted on the shell and on the bullet, which will serve to determine to which uh, firearm it was fired. And most especially if the firearm that has been used to fire the shells or, or bullet are registered the, the firearms identification examiner will be able to determine uh, which firearm it was registered which name or I mean the firearm to which name it was registered so malalaman natin kung kanino registrado yung barrel at ma-approximate natin kung sino yung uh, gumamit nung barrel most especially if the firearm was used in the commission of the crime okay so while tool bucket no bucket tool marks identification because all of those marks most especially for the bullet that was imprinted by the landmarks or by the lands and grooves of the barrel or inside the barrel or we call that the helical grooves it will be or it will produce marks on the bullet which will serve as uh, the means of identification para malaman kung saang firearm nang galing or ipinotok yung bala okay so in comparison no I, kung ikukumpara natin sa fingerprint uh, the focal point of examination for bullet identification is the landmark and the groove marks because it has characteristics characteristics were in different no different class and individual characteristics so these things no when when firearm acts as a tool that leaves impression or impressed no or straighted marks on ver various ammunition so yan po yung firearms identification also firearm identification is actually refined tool mark identification so that's the other term the basis of identification of firearm is based on minute imperfection so meron po kasi tayong tinatawag na general characteristics at saka individual characteristics when you say individual characteristics these are imprints that can only be uh, found on a bullet which was fired on a certain firearm so we can ascertain that this bullet was fired on that firearm if it has these characteristics individual characteristics okay so the natural wearing and tearing of the tools no, involved that every firearm are not permanent for uh, they are subject for deterioration so the more that you fired bullet on that certain firearm it becomes worn out and there would be uh, an imperfections that will happen which will be transferred to the bullet once it passes the gun barrel so meron po tayong tatlo na areas we have three areas in firearms identification that is the bullet identification cartridge case identification and firearm identification per se so sa bullet tatandaan po natin ang hahanapin is yung landmarks and group marks while sa cartridge identification or cartridge case identification ang hahanapin po natin doon is the firing pin mark as well as the breech face mark. But other than that, 
marami pa pong mark yan na pwede mong makita like ejector mark and extractor mark okay so yun po lamang maraming salamat sa pakikinig and kung bago po kayo sa channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button